Hey guys, and welcome back to Alone in the Dark. When we last left off, we finally managed to escape the mansion. Let's con ooh, let's continue. See what we can find poking around outside. Okay, looks like we have some hellhounds. I think these things are called hellhounds anyway. Luckily, they don't match to our triple barreled shotgun. Okay. Now we found a new cartridge for our flamethrower, which was interesting. I don't want to go too far off. There it is. Cool. Um, yeah, I don't want to go too far off the beaten track because I want to have a good look around for some items. Not sure where we're supposed to be going. Ooh. Oh, man. The only problem with the Hellhounds is you can't stagger them. Ooh, hello. This is interesting because didn't oh fuck you, you little bastard. Didn't really? Didn't we originally come through here? Oh come on. Yeah, again the combat in this game is almost as bad as the combat in Silent Hill. Again, that's one thing that Resident Evil just nailed. Combat was so much better. Anyway. Yeah, it was nowhere near as cheap and as frustrating. Okay, so that area down here. We can potentially go back outside. But if we go up here... We've got like so many ways to go. I'm not really sure what way we're meant to be. This kind of looks familiar. Door is locked. Do we actually have any keys left? We actually don't. Um. Okay. I mean, I guess, guess that makes things easier. Let's go back. Shame there's no like actual shotgun shells or anything. Yep. Oh god, it does feel good to be outside of them. I'm gonna be honest as well. Uh, now I've played uh, both characters. I actually, yeah, that's just goes round. Yeah, I actually don't like the mansion that much. The manor, uh, as they call it. Something about it, it just, I don't know, it's just not as satisfying. There we go, it doesn't matter how close or far away we are. Shotgun is just as effective. Yeah, I just, I don't know, man. Didn't feel that much fun exploring it. I think it's just too much of a headache, too much of a maze. Ooh, we got zombie. Hey, zombies. Uh, and apparently, there are some invisible bottlenecks going on here. We got a lot of zambles down here. Oof. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> We've, like, bottlenecked ourselves in. What's this? Sculpture. Uh, yeah, cool story, bro. Uh, I mean, I guess we'll get to work on these guys. This thing's more like a rifle than anything else. A useless, feeble rifle. Rifle nonetheless. Okay. Can you imagine how much damage this weapon would have done in Resident Evil? It would have been beastly. Ooh. So where are we now? I mean, it sounds like we've got some more zambles. But where? Oh, hello. Are they like fusing into one? 
Um. Uh. Right. Gonna. Really? We just we just gonna stand there and watch them approach us. Seems like a bit of a pointless, redundant cutscene. Not like we haven't seen these guys before. Oh, they are rapidly draining our shells. Oh god, hello. Uh can we use this? Uh, yes, kind of. Oh, hello. Can't tell if this is a good weapon or not to be. Right, maybe boys. Oh, God. He's not here, man. Okay. Are we supposed to be going all the way back? I don't know if we're going the right way, to be honest. Kind of feels like maybe not. There's a locked door back here, though. Ah, yeah, see, this is where we originally arrived. Parachute won't be of any further use. No shit, shit. So this... Ah, wait. Ah. Okay. So, all this time. Right. Damn it. So it's the two half moons, a star and a sun. Okay. Give that a go. So that, that, star, that. You unlock the door. Excellent. Oh. <laughs> right. Two. Well, the great thing about this emulator. We can just go to save it. Okay. And we can go change disk. There we go. Man, I love this emulator. Dude. That's gnarly. Who the fuck's had their brain pan removed? You got any goods for me? <laughs> I guess you do. And a gas cartridge. Wow, this guy's had like his brain blown out. Hmm. Right, well. Oh. How do we have 75 shotgun shells? And 10 health kit. Uh Maybe we pick them up off him. I don't know. I'm at the fort. There's some sort of planetarium here. It's incredible. The Mortons really dabbled in everything. Yeah, with one goal in mind. Jeremy Morton had it built. It has something to do with an Indian ritual. There's something here that looks like a control board. I'll try to get to it. Aline, I gotta admit, you're handling all of this incredibly well. Yes. Get off Aline's dick. Ooh. Talking of getting off my dick, what's going on here? Easy, lads. Uh-oh. That didn't seem too good. This seems to be the place in the recording of the incantation. Oh. Right. These sillies appear to be positioned. At cardinal points, if I can find out exactly where I am, I'm sure Aline can help me. So her name is Aline. 
If I can find the north, east, or west valley, I will know enough to. Okay. Right, so puzzle. Uh, this must be. Okay, hang on. Right, hang on. How are we supposed to. Uh, maybe give our friend a bell. Nope. Guess not. Uh. I guess we're going to be coming back here. That's fine. What's this? Oh, it's a head. Hmm. Thing. Oh, we might have to do that puzzle. Maybe. Maybe not. Oh, fuck. Yep. Yeah. Again, that's the problem, the fact that the shot ah the fact that the shotgun isn't uh, a spread pattern. You would have thought you'd be able to blast most of those pieces. Again we've got got an image on the map. Fuck me, well, I mean, oh, hello. See? See what I mean about enemies just randomly appearing without you actually having a chance to defend yourself. Prime example right there. Walk softly and carry a big stick. Yeah, that was some bullcrap right there. No lie. So we've got a ladder going up. We have some stairs. We're in a fucking jungle now. Ooh. Oh, hi. Well, I mean... At least we've got tons of shotgun shells now. Okay, I guess they missed somehow. One down. Okay, so what's in this water? We're getting deeper and deeper into this. Have a look at the map. Oh god. Uh well this is a maze. Guess why wouldn't it be? whole game is a maze. Uh. Oh. Oh, right. Okay, they're invincible. In their animation where they're stepping up. That's... Really? Really? Yeah, there's some bullshit going on with that. Alright, let's have a little look inside here. There's our friend. Two boxes of rocket. Fuck yeah. Uh, dude. What the hell? Wire cutters. A blue lens. I've already seen this kind of lens. The blue light is used to detect very old traces of dry blood. Wait, he's not dead. Jerking around. Let me try and get you out of here. <laughs> uh, my legs. The radio is dead. Everything will be okay. Everything will be just fine. I don't think so. Sinking. I'm telling you, everything will be okay. I don't want to die. Hey, let go of me. Don't leave me here, please. I beg you. I said, let go of me. <sighs> go on. I'll never make it. Sure you will. I'm telling you, I'll never make it. Just promise me one thing. When you see Johnson, tell him something for me. Tell him his cover is blown. 
uh okay uh, we're not gonna even try to help him um okay uh what I save it nothing I can do for him not get back in there the fuse large is too unstable oh right what happens if we stay in here then can we not just drag him out yes we're just gonna die yeah Hold your breath, dude. <laughs> That's really fun. Oh, God. Okay. Yeah, so. So, he, gone, he went from begging for his life to um, giving up. Oh, shit. So, if we... Don't go in there. He kind of survives. Kind of. He, he only sinks and drowns. Oh no. No, I guess he sinks and drowns regardless. That's pretty harsh. For the pilot. Um, okay, can we not now kind of like thrown me back here? Fine game, I kinda wanted to go back and explore. Yeah. That's pretty rough. Oof, that's quite horrific. Poor pilot, man. You know, we all just kind of assumed that he was going to be dead in the crash, but nope, fate has something much worse in store for him. Because that's how it works in this. There is no clean death. I guess. Ooh. Okay. Motherfucker just appeared and disappeared. Sure. Those things are really annoying. I'm guessing that... Oh, here we go. I'm guessing that they're meant to be invisible. And they're almost like chameleons in a way. But I'm not really sure. So we've got a couple of ways to go here. This flamethrower, uh, actually, it's not bad. Door is locked with a chain. Well, we have the, ooh, the right thing for that. You do get a good amount of juice for this thing too, especially with those extra cartridges we have. Ooh. Right, the gate is locked. This is where we, at some point, uh, come and meet a uh, line. Which is interesting, yeah. Okay, right, so that's easy enough. Let's go bust into this place. Man, that sucks to be, you know, sucks to be a pilot. You don't want to be the NPC um, involved in transporting the main hero. Just really don't. Three first aid kits. Wow, they So snakeskin book. Oof. Ooh. He's like cop and a fill and about to run her through spiky sword thing. Savage. To invoke Garf uh Lean. Or Gar was that Gar Eileen? The summoner will choose a young virgin whose hair is neither 
too long, too short. Skin is neither too dark, too fair. Whose waist is neither too large, too narrow. Um, okay. But whose voice, when he screams, extremely high, like that of a falcon, he will starve her. First moon proceeding, summoning, but force her to drink large quantities of liquid flesh from a dry. He will take care to remove all trace of capillary growth other than that of the scalp. Then he will lead her naked to the altar. Then he will invoke the names of the gods of darkness as he was taught. And once having opened the path with manipulations of three sacred symbols, he decapitates the virgin with a single cut. So he's going to keep her skin dry by making her drink fluid. That'd be like run laying on it. I was about to cut her head off. Laying on a bed of spikes. Now, that's a very specific woman that I don't know. She can't be too fat. She can't be too thin. She can't be too uh, dark skinned. Can't be too light skinned. Her hair must be the right bloody length. Can't they just like shave her head? I don't. Ritual sacrifice myself. Not really my thing. Bit of a weight for me, but there we go. Right. Uh, so. Wait, was there any information in that? Uh, about North Southwest, that kind of uh hmm. I have a falcon. Uh, there's nothing in here about Take care to remove all trace of pillory growth. Does that mean he's skinning her? Sacred symbol. Uh, ah. Yeah, we don't know. We haven't had anything to Okay, cool, right. So, there's no other way through here, is there? Ah, is there? Right. This actually is. Something. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. Is it darker out here now? It wasn't raining before, but... Oh. Well, these things aren't very threatening. Not now we've got the flamethrower. Our flamethrower is rapidly running dry. Ah. Uh, so, we go... Back to the. Well, we didn't go up the stairs. The ladder, I should say. And yeah, we've got fucking zombies in here. Oh, get out of the way, you dickhead. Yes, piss off, fish breath. These guys suck. I mean, they're not. They're not. Bad zomb- well, they're not great as zombies go. I like a good zombie. I do. You know, people moan about zombies, oversaturated, but I actually quite like them. I always like a, a good zombie game. 
However, you know, zombies have to be done right. Ooh. I like Resident Evil Zombie. Oh, is that it? Oh. Um. Wasn't really a fan of like the Left 4 Dead zombies and stuff like that. Not a huge fan of all the big extra types of zombies. You know, like the bloaters and the runners and all that. I like my zombies to be slow and dumb. Static Decay had pretty good zombies, I think. From what I can remember. Uh, what else do we have? I think of others like decent... You didn't really get zombies in Silent Hill. Ooh, save metal. Can you piss off? Honestly. Waste of my ammo. But at the same time, don't want them chipping away at my health. Fuck. Now, I don't know if those little things are those big oh look there's another save thing there am i blind if i come down with a touch of the tards it is awfully difficult to pick things up in this game it really is maybe you can't pick that up maybe it's just there torturing I don't think we can actually pick that up. Must be able to. Are you serious? I'm literally mashing the button. Nope. Guess we can't have that one. Good thing we've got save states. Ooh. Can't cross the bridge, it's collapsed. Well, shit. Oh, I can't get over the fact we can't pick that up. Come on. Ah. Oh. Yeah, this game really needed a little bit more quality um, testing. Right, okay, so. Uh, I'm guessing this would be north. Aline? Yes. Oh, hello. Reach the circle of stones. Abcanis Stellas. This is the place. I'm sure this is where I have to carry out the ritual. The only thing I'm missing is the directions. Let me try and help you. Go to the North Stella and call me back if you find something carved into it. Uh. I mean, something carved into that one. I'm at the North Stella, and there's something carved into the top. A single mark. Okay, that's exactly what I need. Could you be a bit clearer? Yeah. I'd rather be sure for myself first. Go to the southeast Stella and call me back. Right, north. So that would be east. She wanted the southeast. Um. That would be southeast. Surely. Which Stella did you say? The Southeast Stella. Thanks. Uh, I guess that's not the Southeast. Is this the Southeast? Which Stella did you say? I guess the not. East Stella. Thanks. So if that's north. Never. Oh. Hang on. That could be it. Aline, there are no yeah. marks on this Stella. Okay. West Stella. Uh 
West one's got to be that. Are we going to go on much longer like this? Do you want to try out your incantation or not? That's what I'm here for. West Stella, three marks. Good. Let me explain. I think that each of the markings correspond to a number. I'm in front of this control board. My idea is, if I enter the numbers, what with it being a planetarium, it should logically give me a direction. Hey, I trust you. So, go to the Southwest Stella. Okay. South S. One. Southwest Stella. One mark. Now we're getting somewhere. East Stella? East. That. Ooh, well that's great. Something's grumbling. Yep, that's two. I'm at the East Stella. This is two cool. Marks. I'm starting to feel this isn't funny anymore. Spoil sport, we're nearly there. North E. Yeah. Nothing. Got to be this one. What? East. Nothing on the northeast Stella. Okay. And now back to the southeast Stella. What? I hope you're not pulling my leg here. Okay, hey, don't get all touchy now. As I say, Stella, nothing, obviously. Hang in there, Carvey. The Southwest Stella, and it's over. Southwest Stella, one mark. Okay, like I said, it's over. Carvey, you'll never believe me. But you know I believe every word you say. <laughs> if I didn't get this wrong, that circle of stones of yours just gave us today's date. Uh oh, that means that tonight's the night the gate can be open. Now's not the time to give up. I still need a direction. Wait. I'm entering the date into the control board. It's incredible. Okay, the planets are lining up. Which way are they pointing? Well, towards the east, I believe. Yes, that's it. Towards the east. Thanks. Don't you think we're in over our heads on this one? I've got no idea. All I know is I want us to get out of here alive. And you've got my word. We're going to do it. <laughs> Right, so now what? Which Stella did you say? The East Stella. Thanks. So, East. Yeah, I'm not sure why he's getting snappy with her there. Uh. Oh, God. Oh, God. Um. Right, hang on. Let's quit that. Uh. Also, we're out of time somehow. Not sure how we're out of time already. So what we're going to do, we're going to end this and I'm going to go read all the books again and see what I have to say. <sighs> this is actually kind of cool. I don't mind this. I don't know why Carnby's getting a bit shirty with her because it's pretty obvious, you know, what she was asking him was pretty important. But hey, who am I to say anything? So thanks for watching, guys, and as always... Till next time.